everyone, welcome to This Week in Comics episode 3. We are looking at stuff that ships on the 17th of January. We are going to change the order this week and we're going to look at my favourite graphic novel pick of the week, which is Punk Rock Jesus by the excellent Sean Murphy. Uh, now we have it in two formats, we have the soft cover and we have the deluxe edition hardcover. Uh, as I'm sure you remember me mentioning last week, Batman White Knight is one of our best-selling titles, and that's by Sean Murphy. So the, the logic is, if you like Sean Murphy, and you like Batman White Knight, you will like Punk Rock Jesus. So, read Punk Rock Jesus. I think you'll like it as much as I do. Uh, you kind of get an idea what it's about from the name. It's Jesus, he's back, he's a punk rocker. It's pretty good. So, my first comic pick this week is the final part of Super Sons of Tomorrow. So this is in the pages of Super Sons, which features Damian Wayne and Jonathan Kent, absolutely two of my favourite characters from the current DC line of comics. Uh, I'm sure you mentioned me, you heard me talk about this when the first issue came out. It's just a delight to actually read a series that, uh, what one, it's really good fun. Two, it acknowledges that Connor Kent and Bart Allen exist. If you're an old school DC fan from the... Uh, second crisis, pre-post crisis, that chunk of time from 86 to 06, then you're gonna like this as much as me. Uh, yeah, give it a read if you haven't already, highly recommended. My second pick this week is Champions, issue 16, written by Mark Wade, with art by Humberto Ramos. So it's one of my favorite writers, it's one of my favorite artists. It's essentially doing for Marvel what Young Justice did for DC, back in the late 90s. It's absolutely one of my favourite team at books. It's got a nice young team of diverse heroes. I absolutely adore this book. And if you're not reading it, issue 16 is a great jumping on point because it's the first part of a new story, story arc. So yeah, give this a look. My second pick this week is Damage. This is part of DC's New Age of Heroes. I'm going to hold it in shot a bit longer than normal because it's got one of these gatefold unfoldy nice covers going on. Um, it's written and drawn by Tony Daniel, so if you remember the New 52 Detective Comics, you're probably going to be a fan of this guy's art. It's essentially giving the DC Universe a Hulk, from what I can tell, although I'm sure it's more nuanced and detailed than that. It's hard to say more than that after the first issue. But the idea of the New Age of Heroes, it's a DC initiative where they're launching about eight or nine new books from issue one, so it's great jumping on points, with uh, some, some old characters returning, like Mr. Terrific and... Plastic Man, but a whole bunch of new characters being introduced as well. This is the first of the New Age of Heroes books. It's dropped this week, it's brand new, it's worth checking out if you're a DC guy, and we have plenty in store, so come in. So yeah, Damage was my third pick. My fourth pick this week is Venom Inc. Omega. You must remember me talking about Venom Inc. Alpha the week it came out. It was my top pick that week. Uh, it's been a pretty competent crossover as far as these things go. You've got Dan Slott working on it, Mike Costa working on it. They're the regular creative team behind Spider-Man and Venom. And the story has been weekly and it's wrapping up nicely in the final issue. So give that a look if you've been on board with the series. If not, it's gone back to second printing and we have those as well. My final pick this week is Image's new release, Days of Hate, issue one. Um, I always like to recommend a couple of indie books here and there. This one has got beautiful artwork throughout. It's a story, uh, a crime story, looking into the rise of the alt-right in America. Um, so you couldn't really be much more better time than, than <laughs> this year we're living in now. 2017, 2018 have been a bit of a tumultuous time for the rise of alt-right. Well, it's been great for them, not so great for everyone else. Days of Hate seems to be taking a look at that in the old school Vertigo sensibility. Really reminds me of those uh, kind of 90s Karen Berger Vertigo books. So definitely uh, one that I'm gonna keep an eye on and I recommend you do as well. So to wrap up, uh, we've still got the sale on in store for another two weeks. We've got all sorts of interesting goodies. We're about as well stocked as we have been uh, in the last five years of history. We also have these lovely new restocks of Venomverse comic boxes. So the last ones we had in the Generations and Legacy ones, they flew out. We couldn't get enough of them in. In fact, we're still trying to get more in, so be patient if you haven't had yours yet. So that's just one of the cool new items in store this week. We've got plenty of new stuff. Come in and have a look. As always, we are here seven days a week week you can find us on social media not just as youtube we're on facebook and twitter you know how it works by now comment like and subscribe sign up for our new mailing list oh my god we're proper professional people who are just giving you content all the time on social media follow us please
Thanks a lot.